Hello there, and welcome to another portion from the SRP ASMR Minecraft series. So we're just in the beautiful jungle gardens here. And we're going to make our way into the building. There we go. So we are in the educational human body doll and it's beautifully decorated with some body pieces and anatomy features with the skeletal system there. We have some vital organs here, the stomach, lungs the brain and the liver and as you know SRP likes his foliage and greenery we have some plants there or maybe some coral perhaps in the tank okay so let's have a little look around just on the opposite side of the room we have our senses, ear, mouth, eye, nose, we have smell, sight, taste and sound. We have our little library there for further reading. And we have some more organs there, so intestine, large intestine and urinary bladder. Okay, so let's get to the heart of what we're doing today. Excuse the pun. So in the past we've explored the skeletal system. We've been on a body organs tour. We've had a little look at the digestive system. Now we're going to take a little look at the anatomy ride. So press this button to take a ride inside the human body. Okay. So there we are, this is a bird's eye view through the transparent floor of the human body. Having a little gross look, we have the brain, we have the lungs, the heart, the liver, stomach and the kidneys. And we can also say represented by the tracks, we have the blood vessels there, the blood vessels. Okay, so like before, we are in the beautifully decorated observation deck. We have our plants, we have our flowers, the scientists, hello there. And there is the dam where we begin our journey, the entrance. So let's have a little and make our way to the base. Okay. So inside the chest, we have the mine cards. Okay. And up the steps. So today we are not going to take the mine card tour. We're just going to go on foot. Take a much slower tour of the human anatomy. So we have the brain here, which is the control room, the most enigmatic and mysterious organ in the body. So information is sent, processed, and then we have a response and the brain. There is the brain matter. The brain consists of four lobes, which account for various things. And the part of the brain that accounts for vision, visual interpretation, is the occipital lobe, located at the back part of the brain. The ob is the back, so the occipital lobe. We're going to make our way down the neck. You can 
see here, the tracks represent the blood vessels. So you have the vein and the artery, which will deliver oxygen, glucose, and other nutrients to the brain. It can function to its optimum ability. Okay, so going south, let's have a little look at the sign. We have the heart. The heart is essentially a pump pumps blood around the body, oxygenated blood will travel to the cells of the body and the deoxygenated blood will be pumped to the lungs to collect oxygen within the haemoglobin. So the heart consists of four chambers and just behind there as we said we have the left lung so the air that we breathe in comes through the trachea bronchus and the bronchioles into the small spaces within the lungs the alveoli and the oxygen that we inhale will travel across the border like so and into the blood vessel Firstly, the carbon dioxide will travel this way into the lungs and when we exhale it will go through the trachea and out through the mouth into the atmosphere. So you have two sets of lungs, this is the right lung and the left lung there just anterior to the left lung, making our way down a little bit. We have the stomach, which as you know plays a vital role in digestion. So this is where your food will meet hydrochloric acid and peptase and the food will be pummeled so it's mixed with those enzymes and acid to help with the digestion of your consumed food okay so going down a little bit more we have the kidneys here have two sets of kidneys and they play a role in keeping the blood clean controlling the amount of water in the blood and the body within the tissue of the kidneys of the medulla and the small areas where water can be excreted and released but the kidneys can also reabsorb any components that it may have initially expelled so it can reabsorb sets of kidneys and any waste products such as urea and water can be excreted they can travel through the tubes to the bladder the urinary bladder here where the urine is stored ready for excretion okay we can go way up a little bit just superior to the right kidney is the liver this is a very important organ also this is where glucose can be stored converted to glycogen in case we ever need to release any further energy to our body the liver can play a role in detoxification it can play a role in digestion of your food and it's also, as I say, a storage centre for nutrients and glucose in the form of glycogen. Okay, so that's the liver. We're just going to make our way to the left shoulder. Just there. So the bone in the upper left arm is the humerus there. I can go way down the elbow be located somewhere here the hinge joint elbow 
two pounds in the forearm, the radius and the ulna. And we have our left fingers there, left fingers. Okay, and symmetrically speaking, I'll mark our way to the right arm. Everything is mirrored. Okay, left arm and the wrist and the fingers which you wear find the phalanges and other hands or the bones in the hands okay, interesting little scientist there okay let's make our way further south now we're passing the bladder which is where the waste can be excreted way into the right leg so we're in the thigh at the moment which is where we'll find the longest bone in the body the femur we have the knee located somewhere here another hinge joint where we find the patella bar and then into the lower right leg we will find the heel of the foot, the ball of the foot somewhere here, and the toes, and the Achilles around there. So that is the right foot, okay, with the blood supply travelling to and from the foot. Let's have a little look on the left side so now we're in the left foot here is the left thigh down to the knee the vertebral bones located in the lower leg here we have the left heel, the ball of the foot, sole, and the toes of the left foot. Okay, so I'm making our way all the way north to the upper part of the body. Just a bit covered the anatomy right there. It's time that we exited, paid our respects and thanks, and we'll head to the cafe for some lunch. So once again, we'll say goodbye to the human body there, and to the scientists, we'll say thank you for allowing us in. And we'll just hit the switch back to the lobby. Includes the anatomy right tour with SRPA SMR. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as this scientist is enjoying being in the library, reading her favourite books. Yes, I saw you there. I saw you. Mhm. Mm okay. So this is SRPA SMR signing off. Looking for the cafe. For a spot of tea and maybe a jump donut or a custard cake. Where is the cafe? Okay, I'll keep searching for the cafe, but I'm going to say bye for now and I'll see you on the next release.